becomes Zenyatta's sister, Ebluissant, getting set to make her debut on a Friday afternoon in the third race at, excuse me, the fourth race at Hollywood Park. <laughs> Saddle on for Ebluissant. Saddled out here in the paddock area, not in the stalls where the horses are normally saddled, but she's got that look that her big sister had. Strapping filly, ears at attention. We'll see how she runs. Instructions are done. John Sheriff's set to give a leg up to Corey Nakatani for Ebb Louisant's debut. Ebb Louisant, as professional as can be, heading to the gate for her debut. Zenyatta's little sister, Ebbly Sant, a dashing debut here at Hollywood Park for John Sheriffs with Corey Nakatani in the Irons. race path for Eb Louisant. To do what she did. You know, John, he just, in the morning getting on her, he does everything right with her. And, you know, uh, him running her, the sisters and Yada the way he did, obviously. You know, he's going to do the right things and have the right moves and he just said, get her in that high rhythm and wherever you're at, don't worry about it and just have fun. She came, she came out okay, and then she just like placed herself, right? Yeah, she was fine. She actually broke really good and, yeah. and uh, more alert and, and into the race more than we actually thought that she would actually do. So, from what I, I understand. Down the back stretch, it looked like you had a handful of words. I, I was pretty handy where I was at. She was moving well underneath me, so I opted to get right behind uh, Raphael, which, who I think was one of the horses to follow to get me point A, point B. And, Turn her for home. I just I let her out a little bit to get to the position I wanted to be in, to where she can kick on and do her thing, and uh, she did everything we asked her to. How sorry is it for you to get this opportunity? Uh, it's, you know, anytime you get to ride a sister or a brother to a, a champion that 
was undefeated for all them races and, and end up losing one race, it's, it's a pleasure to get on horses like those. And uh, especially at this stage in my career, I'd, you try to find those and John and I go way back to Manistique days and even before that. So we're very lucky together and, and I thank John for that chance. And How many times have you been on her in the morning? I've been on her three or four times in the three, morning. We did similar to what we were, you know, planning on doing this afternoon and walk her down, jog her past the starting gate and then let her walk some more and keep her nice and composed and, and uh, that's what we did.